Hello mga math aaral! Welcome to my 7th step-by-step math video tutorial. In this video, I am going to discuss the basic properties and laws of logarithms. Basic properties of logarithms. Logarithms have basic properties. These are, number one, logarithm of 1 with base b is equal to 0. This means that if we get the logarithm of 1 to any base, it is equal to 0. Number 2, logarithm of b raised to x with base b is equal to x. This means that if our base of logarithm is equal to the base of this, our answer is the exponent, which is x. And x here is any real numbers. Number 3, b raised to logarithm of x with base b is equal to x. If x is greater than 0. This means that if our base here is the same with the base of our logarithm, our answer is x. Note, the values of b and x are real numbers such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Let's have examples by applying basic properties of logarithms. Example, use the basic properties of logarithms to find the value of the following logarithmic expressions. Letter A, logarithm of 10 is square. So as you can see, there's no written base here, but it is understood that the base is 10. So we can rewrite this as logarithm of 10 squared with base 10. Applying now the property number 2 we have, since we have the same base, which is 10, the answer is the exponent, which is positive 2. Next, letter B. Logarithm of 1 to the base 10. So, applying property number 1, logarithm of 1 with any base is equal to 0. So, the answer here is equal to 0. Letter C, logarithm of e cube with base e. Applying property number 2, if we have the same base, the answer is the exponent, which is positive 3. Next, logarithm of 64 with base 4. So, as you can see, we cannot immediately apply the properties. So, we need to rewrite 64 using exponential form. So, 64 can be written as 4 cubed. Why 4 cubed? Because... 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So we have now the same base, which is 4. So the answer is positive 3, which is our exponent. Letter E, logarithm of 1 over 125 with base 5. So same with letter D, we need to rewrite first 1 over 125. And 1 over 1... 25 can be written as 5 raised to negative 3. We have now the same base which is 5, then the answer is the exponent which is negative 3. Next, 16 logarithm of 4 with base 16. Applying now property number 3, we have the same base which is 16 then the answer is 4 equals 4. Letter G, logarithm of 1 with base 7, applying property number 1, logarithm of 1 to any base is equal to 0. 
Next, 6, raise to logarithm of 2 with base 6 applying property number 3. We have now the answer is 2. Let's proceed to the laws of logarithms. First law is the product law. Why product? Because the logarithm uv means u times v. So logarithm of uv with base b is equal to the sum of logarithm u and logarithm v. So we have logarithm of u with base b plus logarithm of v with base b where b is greater than 0, b is not equal to 1, u and v are positive real numbers. Second law is the quotient law. Why quotient? Because the logarithm uv is divided. u divided by v. So logarithm of u over v with base b is the difference of our logarithm u and logarithm v. So we have logarithm of u with base b minus logarithm of v with base b where b is greater than 0, b is not equal to 1, u and v are positive real numbers. And the last law we have power law. Why power? Because our logarithm u is raised to n. n are any real numbers. So, logarithm of u raised to n with base b is equal to the product of our exponent and logarithm u. So, we have n times logarithm of u with base b, where b is not is greater than 0, b is not equal to 1, and n is any real number. Let's have examples using the laws of logarithms. Example, use the laws of logarithms to expand each expression in terms of the logarithms of the factors. Assume each factor is positive. For letter A, logarithm of rs cube. rs cube here means r times s cube. So we are going to use the product law. By separating logarithm of r and logarithm of s cube using addition. So we have now logarithm of r plus logarithm of s cube. Now, as you can see, we have an exponent here, which is 3. Applying now the power rule, we have 3 logarithm of s. Pansinin ninyo, yung exponent na 3 is bringing down ko at minultiply ko sa ating logarithm of S. So, we have now logarithm of R plus 3 logarithm of S as the expanded form of logarithm Rs cube. Let's have another example. Logarithm of 4 over y raised to 5 with base 2. Solution. As you can see, we have an exponent. So, we are going to use the power rule. Power rule says, just bring down the exponent, which is 5, then multiply it to logarithm of 4 over y with base 2. Next, we have here 4 divided by y. So, it is quotient rule. Quotient rule says, paghiwalayin natin ang logarithm of 4 and logarithm of y by subtracting it. So, we have now 5 times logarithm of 4 with base 2 minus logarithm of y with base 2. 
Now, logarithm of 4 with base 2 can be simplified. Bakit? Kasi meron tayong pwedeng maging exponent ng ating base na 2 dito para makuha yung 4, which is 2. So, 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. So, we have now 5 times 2 minus logarithm of y with base 2. So, multiplying this now to 5, we have 5 times 2 equals 10. Then, 5 times negative logarithm of y with base 2 is equal to negative 5 logarithm of y with base 2. So, the expanded form of logarithm 4 over y raised to 5 with base 2 is 10 minus 5 logarithm of y with base 2. Let's have example C. Logarithm of x times the quantity x plus 2. So, since it is times... Then, we use the product law. And the product law says, just separate the two logs by adding it. So, we have now logarithm of x plus logarithm of x plus 2. Thus, the expanded form of logarithm of x times the quantity x plus 2 is logarithm of x plus logarithm of x plus 2. Let's have the last example. We have logarithm of u squared times square root of v with base b. Again, it is times, so we use the product law. And the product law says just separate the two logs by adding it. So, we have now logarithm of u square with base b plus logarithm of v raised to 1 half with base b. Paano naging v raised to 1 half yung ating square root of v? We are right square root of v into exponential form. So, by the writing square root by exponential form, just get the exponent of our radicand, which is 1, over the index. So, we have 1, and the index here is 2. So, 1 over 2. So, as you can see, both log have an exponent. So, by using the power rule, we have bring down 2 and multiply it to logarithm of u with base b plus bring down 1 half then multiply it to logarithm of v with base b. Thus, the expanded form of the logarithm u squared times square root of v with base b is 2 logarithm of u with base b plus 1 half logarithm of v with base b. Let's have another example. Use the laws of logarithms to condense each expression as a single logarithm. So, kanina yung mga previous examples natin ay single logarithms na inexpand natin into two or more logarithms. So, this time, gawin natin yung vice versa. Yung two or more log ay gagawin nating single logarithm. So, we have the first example, logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 3. So, since it is plus, so we use the product law. Just multiply 2 and 3. Then, magiging single na yung ating word na log. So, log of 2 times 3. Then, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So, we have logarithm of 6. This is now the condensed form of the logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 3. Another example. 
2 logarithm of x plus logarithm of y. So, since meron tayong number dito before yung ating lag, itong number na to ay siya ang magiging exponent ng ating x. So, we can rewrite 2 log of x as logarithm of x squared. Then, I copy plus logarithm of y. So, since it is plus, so we use the product law by multiplying x squared and y. So, magiging single na yung ating word na log. So, x squared times y. Another example we have 7 logarithm of A with base 3 minus 7 logarithm of B with base 3. As you can see, we have here a number before each log and it is both 7, meaning to say 7 is the exponent of logarithm A and logarithm of B. So we have now logarithm of A with base 3 minus logarithm of B with base 3 raised to 7. So since this is minus, then we use the quotient law. So we divide logarithm of A with base 3 and logarithm of B with base 3 then it is raised to 7. So we have now logarithm of A over B with base 3 raised to 7. Let's have the last example. 3 logarithm of X with base B plus logarithm of 2X plus 1 with base B. So, since we have a number before a log, so meaning to say, this 3 will be the exponent of x. So, we write as logarithm of x cubed with base b, then copy plus logarithm of 2x plus 1 with base b. So, since it is addition, so we use the product law. Just multiply x cubed and 2x plus 1 in a single logarithm. So, we have now logarithm of x cubed times the quantity 2x plus 1 with base b. Thus, the single logarithm of 3 log of x with base b plus logarithm of 2x plus 1 with base b is logarithm of x cubed times 2x plus 1 with base b. Maraming salamat mga mat-aaral! Please don't forget to subscribe in my channel and share my video. Thank you! Until next time, God bless!